Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Lives. So how is everybody doing out there? I hope everybody's doing okay. You guys, I am doing leaps and bounds better than I was about a week ago. Um, so I just want to kind of keep doing these update videos on this. I know you guys are probably have gotten back used to seeing me eat in most of my videos, but I feel like with this, like if I'm going to, I want to be a little more candid and a little more serious. And so I don't want to distract from what I'm saying when it comes to this type of video right now. Um, so I'm in my room, a little bit of different setting. I'm sitting on the bed and um, I just, this is, you know, this is a Motivation Monday video. I want to, because what I want to do, you guys, is I want to encourage anybody that is going through COVID or has family that's going through this, um, or maybe they're going through it and they, they're not showing symptoms and maybe they're fearful. I want to motivate you guys to know that this doesn't have to be a death sentence. And there are things that... Um, we can do to build our immune systems up to fight this because unfortunately this isn't going away tomorrow it's still here and so we can do things to um kind of safeguard ourselves against it to help fight it you know because of course if you're a person who has underlying medical conditions like i am you're probably going to need medical intervention there's no probably to it. Most likely you're going to need, you know, you may even need to be hospitalized. And that's not to scare you. I don't want to scare anyone. Um, but I want people to know that <clears throat> I am here. I am alive. I am doing so much better. And even though my voice may be a little raspy, I may get a little winded. Just know that's just I'm still healing. And you guys, I had pneumonia. I had a lot of inflammation in my lungs. So that it takes time for that to heal. That doesn't just go away overnight. Um, but what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to give like a list of symptoms because some people are curious as to what the symptoms are. So the first symptom that I wanted to cover that started out for me was the body aches, joint pain, um, it was body aches, joint pain, um, um, let me start this over because <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place. Because I want to make sure that I'm putting this out there in a way that it makes sense and that it's understood. Um, there was fever. Um, okay, so let's start from the beginning. Body aches. Um, body aches with muscle pain. And you know how um, sometimes when you, like, when you work out... Um, um, when you, when you work out, you feel like, okay, I'm a little bit, I'm sore. Like my body felt sore. And I guess the reason why I didn't associate that soreness with it being COVID is because I was working out. I was doing some pretty intense workouts. I was dancing. I was doing pushups. I was, I was getting it in. Okay. And my body, I'm heavy. Everybody knows that I'm heavy. And so when you're heavier, things tend to be a little bit harder on the joints and on the body. So <clears throat> I was feeling a lot of body aches, muscle pain, weakness, and I, but I equated it to just my body adapting to me working out. Um, joint pain. The joint pain was um, severe. I'm not kidding you. It was the joint pain was one of the worst things because it was in every joint in my body my neck my shoulders my hips my knees my ankles even my toes my fingers everything my elbows it was just every joint in my body now my family has history of arthritis so that could be why this virus attacked my joints the way that it did because this virus seems to be one of those things that attacks the weaknesses in the body so if you're not healthy, you have any type of weakness, it's going for it. Um, 
headache. The headache was not a migraine. I do suffer from those. Um, I suffer from migraines and everybody that knows me personally knows that I've struggled with them for years since I was a teenager actually. But that's neither here nor there. But the headache was just like a nagging. If you've ever had the flu and you had a headache, it's that kind of headache. It just doesn't come and go. And you can take Tylenol, you could take Excedrin, you can take whatever and it's still there it's like it just doesn't go away i was amping up my water because i'm like well maybe i'm not drinking enough water so i'm drinking like a gallon gallon and a half water a day my head's still hurting so i'm like okay something's wrong um i started to develop diarrhea and i know that's gross but it i started to develop that and loss of appetite came along with that nausea diarrhea and loss of appetite um, the nausea wasn't, um, it was, it was bad, but it wasn't, um, as bad as the diarrhea. The diarrhea was like two, three, four, five times a day, up to five times a day. And it was like, okay, I'm not even eating that much. So what is this? And I wasn't on antibiotics at that point. I wasn't on any antibiotics at that point. So it was like, okay, something's wrong. And then the um, fatigue, the extreme fatigue set in. So it was kind of like the body aches first, muscle pain, joint pain, headache, diarrhea, then the fatigue set in. Once the fatigue set in, then I started having fever. And then I started having the loss of appetite. And then, of course, the most severe symptom of them all was the shortness of breath. The shortness of breath was, um, it, it, you know, when you can't breathe, that's not a good feeling. It's a, it's a bad feeling to not be able to breathe. Um, so that was the main thing that sent me to the hospital twice and and had me admitted because I was saturating in the 80s and you're not supposed to saturate in the 80s your breathing should always be at 100 percent unless you have a respiratory condition where you're on continuous oxygen or you require um, periodic oxygen support you should be 99 100 percent all the time and normally I am but once this attacked my lungs I was not and it, it it progressed quickly. It progressed quickly, you guys. So these are so I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this real quickly again. Body aches, muscle pain, weakness, joint pain, headache, diarrhea, nausea, loss of appetite, fever, fatigue, shortness of breath. Those are the symptoms that I had, and the discoloration of my mouth. Don't laugh at my little piece of hair poking out because I was going to wash my hair today and I decided not to. But those were the things that let me know something was wrong. So if you are experiencing any of these things, you need to go ahead and be tested. I know there's a, a bunch of stuff out there. People saying don't go get tested. You know, you don't need to get tested. Don't get tested. Listen, if you are feeling sick like this, you need to get tested because you need to know because you don't want to be out there at the grocery store or in a restaurant or at a family gathering or a get together, something spreading COVID. You don't want to do that. Nobody wants to spread this around. So it, it's really, I would say a good idea to go ahead and get tested just to make sure it doesn't have to mean that you have COVID because you have some of these things, but I had all of them. So it wasn't like I was just imagining this. I was in denial for quite some time because I did. I just couldn't fathom that I had caught this because like I said, I had been home. So it wasn't like I was out there hanging out. I was at the grocery store and I was back home. So it's, but I just want everybody to know you can survive this. There are things that you can do. I definitely never stop taking my elderberry never stop taking my vitamin c my zinc 
my daily supplements, my black seed oil, my oregano oil, my you use I use my essential oils and things like that. Um, drinking herbal tea and stuff like that, drinking something hot, making sure you're alkalizing the body by either drinking alkaline water or doing, um, I do black, black strap molasses, baking soda and water in the morning, eight ounces. And all of that cleanses the body out. And a lot of viruses and things can affect your gut health. And so you want to make sure that your gut is healthy to help fight these things off. This does not have to end you. There's a lot of people that have lost their lives. I believe with those people, they may have been sicker than they knew. And, you know, you guys, but we don't, we don't want to live in fear of this. We don't want to let it control our lives to the point where we're just in, in such fear that we can't live because that's not how it's supposed to be. But I want to motivate you to just keep your head up. Don't let this make you feel like you're not going to be here because you can survive through it because myself and many others are surviving it we are healing our bodies are doing what our bodies do your body will heal your body will heal itself it's there's nothing wrong with needing medical intervention to get better so do what you need to do so you guys i just wanted to put that out there really quickly and just, you know, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to reach out to me. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. But I'm just sharing my own personal experience with this pandemic. And I just want other people to see that I'm here. You know, yeah, I'm breathing a little more shallow, you know, might run out of air, might sound a little raspy, but it's okay. I'm here and I'm going to be here and I'm going to continue to pray that I'm here. And I just want everybody else to do the same. So you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Drop me a comment and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.